Yes, yes indeed. What's up, y'all? This one, noisy ass place. <laughs> I'm going to meet up with Roz and um we gonna um uh, Roz is gonna do a documentary on herself. She always talks about you know the things that she's been through, um things that she's been through in her life. Well, we going to see the areas where Roz come from and, and the things that Roz been through to prove all of that with what she's saying. Some of those buildings may not even be there no more, but we going to take care of that right now. So stay tuned, y'all. Peace. DJ Underdog. Let's get it going, y'all. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. This is Ryan from the My Best Day Show. And today we're outside and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in my past a little bit. Things have changed from where I am today after 27 years of being in recovery. Um, so I would like for you to take a ride with me so I can tell you a little bit about what's going on with me today. I am a little frustrated, you know, cause um, I'm not gonna say why, but there's a certain <laughs> party that's late, and that bugs me so bad. But these are things that um, you have to get over. And a lot of people don't get over stuff. Um, I could joke about it, but it's a serious part of my life. Time is very important to me. And I, I believe that everyone should have to realize that, you know, it's not carefree anymore. You gotta take your time, you gotta set things up, and then you gotta do them. You know, I don't have a great life, but I do have a good life. And now I'm gonna get in the car, and we're gonna take that ride, if you don't mind. Ready. Okay. Well, right now, the first thing I do when I get in my car of late, is to put my sanitizer on, Sa hand sanitizer. You know, so that if I picked up anything, I don't carry it with me. And right now, I'm, um, I think, cause we're gonna go a little bit, about my life and where we're gonna start at uh, you know I'm leaving my street and then I want to take I want to go way back the story I told you about my best friend Patty Drayton she lived on William Street and I lived on Harriet Street and uh, we went to uh, Barnum School Barnum School uh, from the first to the eighth grade was there for 50 years and now they didn't take the building but they took the name and they put it at another place in Bridgeport you know um, and sometimes when I go by there I, I, I think about the good old days because in my grammar school days they were good days I had great times those are the times you know my mom and my dad um, my mom was a good mom, you know. My dad, he was, um, he was, he was alcoholic, but he still was my dad, and I don't hold that against him, even though I became what do. <laughs> but um, it, it's okay, you know. They did the best they could with what they had, and as I've said earlier, my father had a fourth grade ed education, and my mom had a ninth grade education. They came all the way from North Carolina to Connecticut, bringing four, they, they had seven among them, but they brought four here. One uh, went to New York, my father's, my older brother, who was deceased, and um, my, one of my sisters and two of my brothers, that's four of us that came to Connecticut. Right now, two of my siblings, my sister, my one and only sister that's still alive, and one of my brothers live in Texas. My other brother lives with me, you know, and uh, when you think about your life, how different it was, you know, we had a good time, you know, I don't know about you guys, but we went on Easter egg hunts with our parents, you know, we went fishing, you know, we went skating, we went camping, you know, and with all those good things, and I still became an addict. 
you know, it boggles my mind that, you know, people are like, well, your parent, somebody I know says, you know, it's raising of, of your, uh, somebody hollering outside, um, you're, you're raising of, you know, the parent. My parents did the best they could, even though my father was an alcoholic, but my mom, you know, because women are, you know, had, they're, they're good. Uh, and I still became an addict. I can't blame my dad for it. You know, my mom gave me the best she could, and I. And the thing is, <clears throat> and I think sometimes it happens to all of us. We try to blame somebody. You know, my mother didn't do this, and my mother. Did. My mother gave me all she had with what she had. You know, coming from North Carolina, working in the back of barns, and you know, and all those things. And as a child, as a teenager, before I lost my mind at 15, I used to go down south. We went on vacation every summer, you know? And we'd go down there and I'd work and I'd make money and, you know? So they did their best. We can't want You know, some people, I don't want to. Because they did what they could. And when I realized my mother gave me all she could give me, I was like, wow. Because as I was going to say, I resented my mom for a while because I was listening to that jibber jabber. You know, I thought that my mom was at a laundry. You know, and I'm expecting her. Back then they had converts or some, some type of thing. And uh, I couldn't get what everybody else had. But I got stuff, but I didn't appreciate. The kids these days, they get it all. My grandkids, they got it all. They, all they have to do is breathe what they want. And my daughter jumps right on it, you know? But that's, she's able to. And I'm not gonna worry about if she does or not. Because that's what she needs to do for her children. And I pray that my grandchildren appreciate her, you know? For those of you that are on the show or listening, I appreciate you. And see, that's what it is. We, appreci we have to appreciate the little things that God has um, given unto us. And because, and I'd like to say, I didn't pray, but I will pray at the end. You know, um, right now we're riding on uh, Barnum Avenue. This used to be a factory. You know, years ago it was all factories all up and down and, you know, this way people made the money. But look at it, it's gone. You know, years ago, Bridgeport was a boom town. It had all kinds of makings of stuff. You know, today I'm going to show you a street. Um, this is Hallett Street. Um, and I used to live on, I'm going to turn on Maple. I used to live on Maple. And, and the thing, the irony of it, is I was there today because... My oldest son's aunt that I told you just passed, she lived in the same house I did. I lived right here in this, this house. I lived on the first floor. Her, my, my son's aunt, lived, she just passed. She lived on the second. But her daughter still lives there. And her daughter is handicapped. She used to be my get high girl. You know, now she's paralyzed on one side. So, um... I go and, uh, you know, help her out. And I told her, like, Monday, I'm going to have to go and help her do paperwork. You know? It's my obligation. Because when we was getting high, we did it together. And now she only got her, she only got her, she got a boyfriend. But he's too, too short left of a, a learning how to do stuff. But he's a good guy because he loves her. And um, I ain't got no boyfriend. She got one and she crippled. <laughs> how, how does that work? You know? Why well, I'm doing wrong, you know? <laughs> it's okay. There's a lot of us women think we all that and they ain't got nobody. She, she, I'm telling you. You know, but that man will do for that woman no matter what. She, um, she be yelling at him. He give her, um, give her his check and then 
Charlie. She'd be like, give me some money. He'd be like, give me some money. I ain't giving you nothing, Charlie. <laughs> I'd be laughing. You know, it's like, look at this girl. She'd be running stuff. Ain't got but one side. She'd be running it. And he'd be like, mm. But he loves her. You know, if we go to if he got to carry her, he will carry her. You know, as I said, she doesn't walk that well. But it's amazing, you know, and, and, and that's what life, life is amazing. You know, this right here is the other part of Maple, and we're going to go down here in a minute. And we're going to go to my school. That's, uh, hey, girl. Hey. Um, you know, the people that, 27 years I've been off the street, and the same people are still there. What is going on? <laughs> Do we ever learn? You know? And right now, I'm, we're going to pass by Barnum School. And uh, earlier, I, well, I don't know if you remember, but Patty Drayton, I started school that day. And there was a hopscotch thing. I don't know if it's still there. Yes. No, this is school right here. And, um, it was, let me see where we were standing. It was right about there. And she said, and I all remember, she said, you want to play? And we've been friends ever since. I was seven and she was like five, six. She owned two. And um, she used to live down the street over on William. And I, my family, we lived, this is Harriet Street. That's like uh, four blocks. Maybe less. One, two, three, four blocks. And um, I'll show you. We used to live at the further end, and uh, that was years. That's we we lived over there. We lived at 205 right there. See that house right there, 205, right? And then there was three floors there. Nice oh, house. Yeah, the only thing had rats right there, but we did. <laughs> And we had a dog that we used to kill him. You know, it was like, wow. But that's my story, you know? And right now, they this is a senior building. There, when I was a child, a child uh, in our teens, my friends, before this building was built, we used to play on the rafters up there. We used to jump from building to building. That was dangerous, but we're children, we didn't think it dangerous. But that's what we did as a kid, you know, um, 12, 13 years old. And right over here, see, these were the good times of my life. Washington Park, you know, this is where we used to go play ball and just uh, you know, because they got a basketball court. I mean, the guys wouldn't let me play basketball. They let me play football and baseball, you know? <laughs> Excuse me. I was good with baseball. I I hack them with the basketball. They say, ah, oh, you can't play. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but these same guys, um, we went out for dinner, for breakfast, about a month ago. Kingsdale, Calvin, and Billy Boyd. And uh, we used to play... There was a group of other kids that down the street that we used to play um, baseball against. You know, there were Puerto Ricans. They had their team. We had ours. We would beat them. I hope y'all remember that. If y'all not here, uh, I was the only girl on the on the team, but we beat them. You know, I was a tomboy. But those are the good times. And see now. This was uh, yeah. when I start. Uh, I began my drug addiction. Mm. You know, I remember my mom. We we had to move, or, or we could move, and she said uh, we could go to the village, or we could go get in another house. And yeah. we we being kids, we like mom. We want to go to the village. <laughs> we want to be in Father Pan the village. Cause we didn't. We thought that that was the Good thing to do. How wrong were we? <laughs> so we moved Building Nine, Father Panny Village. Right now, it's a housing department. If you write down, this was this was all housing. I mean, village. 
you know, third floor. There was projects, I mean, all that. Or, but right now, it's the senior housing. You know, many times, in and out of those buildings, getting my drugs. You know, but they tore it all day. You know, now, um, they have a father panic uh, picnic every year. And people come from the old school, and you see the park right there. There's a park there, down there was the motorcycle club. Now the motorcycle club is not there. They got um, the boats. You know, people that got money got boats over there. <laughs> you know, and then yeah. after Father Panic, you know, these are my stomping grounds. After then, you know, you go over here to uh, Seaview Avenue. Holla! <laughs> you know, Seaview <laughs> Avenue had all, you know, you come over here, they had, um, <laughs> There were houses and mm -hmm. they had a little store down at the corner. Mm -hmm. You know, they had a little, little juke joint over there. <laughs> you know, this is my hanging ground. This is where you yeah. can get everything you want. People was always on the corner, but it's not like that now anymore. There's gonna be a liquor store over there. You know, and these were all houses, but they're all gone. You know? Wow. Yeah, a, a lot of wilds. And then, um, what is it? This house right here, there was, um, it was a club. Mm. It was a little bitty club. And everybody go in there and do what you gotta do and don't worry about it. <laughs> you know? Uh oh, I'm gonna run over somebody's electric car right here. You know? <laughs> my, you know, my son bought one of that for his son. No, it was a plane. You know, they lost it. <laughs> <laughs> they all stupid. But um this 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 was my hanging. You know, things are I this think they changed. The infamous Bunnell Street. Yeah, this is Bunnell. Yeah, this is cause of my baby. Hey, don't take no joke. Hi baby. <laughs> you know, um I remember I've been on this street one time and my buddy, I have a friend. You know, he, uh, we had, we did big drugs. Don't even worry about it. And one time I was standing on the porch or something, and I saw this lady carrying these bags, mm. and this big German something was trying to bite her. <laughs> and see, I, I know, because I grew up with dogs, that mm. dogs ain't dumb. So, no. he was trying, he was trying to bite her, so I yelled at him, leave her alone! He looked at me <laughs> like he called me a bad name. And after he, um, he looked at me, mm -hmm. I gotta leave her alone! He just <laughs> went on about his business. I said, look at this dog. You know, but this was my hanging. You know, all time of night, all time of day. Because back then there was no fear. You know, oh, and uh, we were talking, somebody mentioned uh, when I was over in the project, and that young man um, pulled a gun on me three times, you know? But he's he's gone. He died? Yeah, yeah he got killed later wow. on. But that was later on, you know? Yeah. Live by the sword, you die by the sword, you know? Yeah. But uh, there used to be a, a bar right here, my bar, you know? Used to hang in there. All these were like, there was a store, um, stuff. Mm -hmm. I can't remember, uh, store. On this corner over here, there was a nice building that they had, um, Lobby. they had the library and the apartment building. A friend of mine lived there. That, her, that, the her, her, her apartment was really sharp, but, um, mm -hmm. they tore it all down. They're redoing something. I don't know. But all this was where I used to hang up and down. You know, there was always a place you could go get something to eat. Yeah. You know, um, you could hang out. Mm -hmm. There are different bars, and you know, they're no longer there. Yeah. You know, it, it's like the change. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm grateful for my change. And I know people are grateful for the change of the city. Like yeah. these are, um, now these are the, the places that people, you know, the one time. That place right there was a, um, it's always a new name. One Family <laughs> Deli. They, you know, they, they have a fish, they change it to a fish place. But, hey, they change, but you know, see, if you look down the street, Jimmy's Liquor, 
He ain't never changed. It always been there. <laughs> you know, and, you know, no matter what. And look, oh, and they always had a barber shop there, the deli, the thing on the corner, the Sunshine Deli. Yeah. You know, they do a, 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 a church in there too. Yeah. You know, but um, they, this was my right here. It used to be a bar called Tiffany's. Oh, okay. Yeah, people used to live there, and right back over there used to be an after hour. Yeah, these were, you could do, you could get high, <laughs> do what you want to do. Yeah. This was, that's all we knew back then, mm -hmm. you know? Now it's a little bit different. The streets are a little cleaner than they were. Yeah. You know? And this place right here, I really didn't go in there. But um, mm -hmm. that place always had change of name. And that place <laughs> right there, you know? And this is the church that I got saved. Bishop Deputy Stewart was the pastor at the time. Yeah, yeah that, that church helped me grow up yeah. to find out who God was. And after mm -hmm. then, nobody really, you know, I didn't go down, going down this way wasn't, yeah. wasn't uh, what I did. Oh, and we could go over to, um, mm -hmm. I could tell you some, But, yeah. you know, down we're going down to uh, architect. Those are the things that I did um, as far as mm -hmm. getting high, being bad. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on. Ephraim? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Who got to know that big camera? Because I'm do I do a show. Oh, you do a show? <laughs> oh. Oh, well, y'all, y'all get up. I got a warrant. I got a warrant. You know you got me. Uh, uh, I'm healthy. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. Listen, this is Benjamin, but his ear frame. I've known him when he was. I'm clean. I'm clean. Stop. I got, I got short job. Stop. At first, he's like, stop texting me. And you see what he said. I text you. Text me every day. <laughs> because he learned, and that's what we have to do. We have to. Um, be a witness to people. See, I knew him when he was Benny. We called him Benny. And then he went out and, you know, and they called him Ephraim. Ephraim. His parents, my parents, we all lived on that Harriet Street. You all grew up together. That's my brother, you know? And, and, and we're still brother and sister. And when you see him acting like, <laughs> but that's the way it is. Because family stays family, you know? No matter how you do it or when you do it, family's family, you know? And I'm just grateful to that. I'm gonna, we're gonna go to, where we going? I don't know, you got me just driving. You know this is gas! No, I got gas. I'm grateful today because um, I am, um, this is well my I didn't my my nieces lived over here yeah. and I, I used to visit them and whatever but mm -hmm. I think to, I'm trying to think did I get high there? But I don't know. You know, some of that's all cloudy a little bit. <laughs> but um But this mm -hmm. this was my stopping ground. This is where I hanged at. This is you know? Yeah. I go there was a bar right over there one time. Mm -hmm. I was in I'm the guy he died. I was my the mystic I, bar. Yeah. Oh, the and owner died. No, the guy I was in love with died. Oh. And <laughs> his sister, his his girl, his mom, baby mama. What's her name? Sister. I, was I her name Trish? No. Oh, okay. No. Why are you throwing names out there? Listen, <laughs> the baby mama, his baby mama, <laughs> sister worked there. I didn't yeah. realize it. I wasn't drinking then. Yeah. But I was drinking Coca-Cola. Yeah. But I went I was going out. I would get a dressed up coat. And you know that heifer mm -hmm. spiked my drink? Ooh. Yes she did. Wow. I had died. She didn't kill me. Mm. But uh after I got unsick, but wow. then I, I don't really know what she looked like to this day. Mm. But she spiked my drink. It was only Coca-Cola. How am I get diarrhea and all that from Coca-Cola? Yeah, wow. she she was mad at this sister. 
Mm. You know, make you think, you know, like, if you go somewhere and you get a drink or something, cover that sucker up, but don't drink it when you get back. But I had it in my hand. I never put it down. Mm. So I know she got me. But, uh, wow. I lived through. And, you know, those are things that people do. Yeah. Vindictive things. She had nothing to do with anything. But I guess she wanted to do yeah. me. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Which one? I'm gonna, no, I'm going to show you. You want to go by your church? Yeah, I'm going to show you the church I go to. You don't think I she will say something? About what? I'm outside! This is oh. freedom of speech! <laughs> if they see me doing that, that's on them. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, this old. Oh. Don't look at the name! No. <laughs> it's closed anyway. <laughs> you know, I still, I, I, I'm still, I still got a little issue with closing church. Yeah. If I'm gonna, um. That's crazy. Yeah, but that's how people think and they're afraid, so I get mm -hmm. that. You know? Uh, being in the street, you know, people pulling guns on you. Yeah. I didn't really understand who God was, but I know one thing. Mm -hmm. I was not afraid yeah. of the streets. So therefore, mm -hmm. how can I be afraid of other stuff? Yeah. You know, and maybe I'm maybe I'm a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. No. You know? I remember um, this is one of our parks. You know, Bridge, Bridgeport is the park city. So this yeah. is one of the parks that, you know, you go down here and do what you do. You know, I, I didn't really hang in here, but if they had an event, you know, um, I, I, I told you that story, I don't know if I did. Um, she was my good friend. And if she hears that, we still friends, sister. Yeah. And uh, what happened was, we was out here. There was this guy I was talking to, and then I guess she wanted him. Yeah. And we were walking. They didn't have that court right there, right? And she was yeah. coming this way, and I was going that way. And she was just mouthing what she was going to do to me. She was going to do that, and she was going to do this. And uh, we got up upon each other. We said some nice words to each other. <laughs> you know, and I told her, and she, she was, and the thing, she was bigger than me, but I had enough mouth as her. Yeah. And um, at the end, she said, ah, fuck you. <laughs> Excuse my expression. <laughs> and it ended, and today we're still friends. You know, yeah. and, and and it's okay, you know. Hey, barbecuing over here? Hey, huh? They hey, doing a barbecue Yeah. Over here. They free, right? Uh, what uh, they doing? Look like it. What y'all doing? Eating. How much is it? Free. Get out. Yeah. Free? What they got hammered? Oh. Yeah. I do a show, guys. I do a show on Facebook and, and YouTube. Uh -huh. This is my cameraman. And I was on drugs for a long time. God I've been you. I've been clean for 27 years. God bless you again. Yeah, and he's just doing the places God, I used to hang out. Yeah, so. God bless you. Yeah, so we're just going through. So they're giving it away? Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, see? Y'all better come and give me a sandwich. Yeah. What kind of sandwich y'all got? You had a hood chain? Yeah, the hood chain. Yeah, see? But the whoa, hood... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Everybody, everybody hey. stop. Everything hey. stop right here. <laughs> hey, everything stop right here. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me, I'm going to pull everything over there. I'm coming back. Everything right here. Pull over. Come pull on up. back. Everything <laughs> stop right here. Nobody else. <laughs> I'm going to change the battery and put okay. it on video. Okay. Right on, right on. All right, All right brother. DJ, y'all. DJ, y'all. The wind blowing, the wind blowing. All right, baby. Hey guys, listen! Oh, I just can't. Listen, I'm up. I'm right. I had, hold on, get up. Go my car. Hey, look, look, Eddie. Go my car. Right back. Stop yelling. Listen, that's my camera now, man. It's a new thing for me. God delivered me 27 years ago. I want to empower, enlighten, and, and encourage others. Okay. You want to win with a fucking hand? And we're doing my story. Okay. So you guys are in?
This one that wants to be in here. This is another one right here. You want to be in here? We all right. You was in it? We in the sunshine. 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 Come on, we in the sunshine. 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 We in the that's how the hood show love, man. Thank you, baby. Yeah, that's how we show love, man. This is my guy. Here we go. Here, another one right here. This brother right here. Hey, How we production. Say something on the camera. Yeah. Get Scott and... Hey, listen. This is Black Aquaponics and Liquid Fix. Out here giving food away to the people because we know we in a bad situation right now, so we here to help with our community. Yeah. Chicken or, or you're not getting liquid fish. Okay. Now y'all support when y'all get back out. <laughs> y'all get back out your house. <laughs> if you got anything left, and don't bring no tissue. <laughs> Go around and everything. Everything sanitized, everything right here. We all yeah. good and everything. Y'all right. yeah, got everything. You know that we making this all the way live, man. Yeah, this, yes, this is public TV and all that. Everybody need to know that this is good. <laughs> got to be yeah, what is it? Is real. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're going to throw a little music in that, too. Yeah, and we're going to throw it in that. Go ahead. Go ahead, D. Go ahead, D. Man. Yo, get the music man right here, man. It's the music man. You know that? This is live. This is nice. Yeah, a little something. A little second. Ball in around a little bit. I'll be back at you in two seconds. I got me a hamburger. I don't want for you. Everybody got a hamburger? You know, you want something to eat? No, I'm okay. Uh oh. They had it over there. This is what the community does to help one another, and that's what we all should do. Be helpers of one another. Another happy day, and uh, got it. Yeah, got it now. Another day. These are all the men and women haven't come out yet, but it um, it tells you how the community love one another. 
you know? Yeah. They come together, they feed each other, they talk, they have a drink or two if they want to, but it's only what God does. And I trust them in Jesus' name. So now we're just gonna go. But these are one of my stopping grounds. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And this is what happens when you don't get hot. <laughs> you know, so. And Scott, one of the other cooks is gonna. Where? No, you keep telling me that. No. Okay, I'm a Murphy. No. <laughs> no, I know Carol, but no, I'm not. Oh, so you bump or you hug? I don't give up. I'm good. I'm just, I'm just came from Michigan and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you hiding? I've been around. I just got home. All right. Well, you just take care of yourself. All right. Hey, they tell you say, hold your breath and count ten times. I, oh, I did it. Um, <laughs> 29, 38. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good there. Beat <laughs> the last, baby. <laughs> That was a nice reunion, Rob. Uh -huh. Just riding by, right? Hey, we just came from um, the East uh, Newfield Park. Day, first day of spring jump off, where they give away food. And that's just so awesome. Um, because I carry water and juices, I gave them what I had. And see, that's how we take care of each other. You, you put in your part, and the young man who's giving away the chicken and hamburger, he says every little bit hurt, helps. And that's exactly what it is. You know, uh, years ago, they used to sell chicken sandwiches. You know, you can get a chicken sandwich for $1.50, two pieces of bread, and some mayonnaise. <laughs> um, but we didn't come outside in the daytime. You know, we hung at night. But today, the nighttime is not a good time. So people are out there, they just want to, um, the people that were over there, they were people that were places that you don't want to be, you know? But God changes things. God changes your life if you allow him to. <coughs> you have to be willing to understand. I understand today. You know, um, I understand that if God's in it, I'm going to be good. I didn't know where we were going to go today. But he said, my stopping ground, where I go, and that's part of where I went, where I would go. Yeah. Um, to Newfield Park. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I, I would go out to, what is it? That's too far. Uh, you know, because, I don't know. I never really hung out at uh, Seaside Park. But one of these days, we'll go out there on the water. You know, uh, I remember Beersley Park. We used to go out there, you know. I can't swim. I can swim underwater, which don't do you no good if you're in the ocean. <laughs> and uh, um, I can float, but the stroke can't do a lick. Like uh, one of my Patty's grandmothers said, used to say, I swim like a log, none at all. <laughs> <laughs> we say, Grandma, and here again, we're at the other end of uh, Seaview Avenue, and uh, Seaview Avenue used to have, uh, right now it's a car lot, but there was a club, you know, there was uh, the American Legion, I don't know if it's still there, but that was over there, there was clubs, there's so many places that are no longer there, but these were our um, hangouts, you know? If you want to go get high or something similar to that, that's where you would go. You yeah. know, these are the spots. And that, you know, you didn't need no car. Yeah. You know, you're not going to go any further than a block or two. Yeah. You know, one of my fears in my life, and I don't think it was, I wasn't a fear, but being in Father Panic Village, it was uh, yeah. maybe a two block radius for the whole project. And then the main street was um, Boston Ave. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Barnum Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, I could never get past Barnum Avenue. I didn't think there was a world outside of Father Cannon Village. And there okay. is. And then, you know, now that I've traveled a little bit, uh, but the whole thing of it, mm -hmm. 
Everybody got an East Main Street, a Barnum Avenue. Do you know out West Virginia they got a Bridgeport? <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, they yeah, do. they do. They got I the see. same cities we got. They got them in the mother states. You know, and you be like, wow, we thought we was the only ones. And the thing is, it's the same stuff going on. Yeah. You know, um, mm -hmm. I, 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 I can't stress it enough. I did. I do have a good life. I don't have a great life. And I tell that to a friend of mine. She's like, yes, you do. You're not, I, but I have to see things from myself as you do. Yes. You know, here's another. Uh, this is a store called Oasis. Now, every year, I don't know what nationality they are, but they're good people. Every year, they have a party in the summer and they give mm -hmm. away food to um, people. And I love people that give. I love people that don't give either, too. But, you know, um, as I showed you um, Prayer and Deliverance, I used, when I first started my group, yeah. I used to, uh, it was a bigger group. And I used to buy hot dogs and hamburgers, and I feed the neighborhood. Yeah. And, and as I look back, I really don't, I don't know how. Yes, I do. I do know how. God made it possible. You know, because I don't know if I was, I don't know what my job was then. But I know that I would go buy hot dogs and hamburgers, and then when my pastor, when he would see me do it, He's like, wait a minute, I'm gonna buy some of them. You ain't gotta buy it. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so he would buy, we would buy, I would buy hot dogs and hamburgers. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. and we feed the neighborhood, because that's what you do, you know? Yes. I, don't, I don't see anybody I know of yet, even though I know I just don't. Yeah. It's, it's you know, it's. Everybody wearing masks. <laughs> yeah, you know, and that, that's dangerous. <laughs> you know, but look, see the sun's coming out, so everybody's coming out now. When we went, we went by here before, and yeah. it was a, it was nobody there. Yeah. You know, and now you know it, it, it's different. You know, but after um, after God, I'm gonna show you a, a building. Yeah. God, um, I didn't have what was I doing? I was early in recovery. Yeah. Uh, I needed, I told you that, um, yeah. there was a building that, I mean, there was an apartment. My son and his wife lived there. Yes. And I wanted, I need an apartment. So the guy said he was going to give me an apartment, mm -hmm. but I needed like 150, which I had, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So then my daughter-in-law and I got into it. We was at it. <laughs> But anyway, we we all care today. But anyway, we got into it. She told the landlord that I was back on drugs because she didn't want me to be here. Wow. Yeah, she did that. But that's all right. That's what people do. So anywho, the night that um the day that I was supposed to bring him the money that I had because I was supposed to pay one month yeah. and 150 for security. But when I called him, he said, no, I want it all. This is the <laughs> building right here. This one right here. Right here. On this side? Yep. I managed that. But, oh, wow. one, yeah. And um, I said, like, how? What? He said, I need all. I was on my cousin's house. Yeah. He said, um, I need all the money. I said, Shirley. He said, he need $900. I don't got it. She said, tell him you don't have it. I was like, huh? <laughs> she said, tell me you have it. I said, she said, tell me you have it. I said, I'll have it. <laughs> she, Saturday, I don't know what day that was, but Saturday, yeah. I went and counted that man off, $900. Wow. Because God gave me vision to go and get it. So, yeah. I, you know, I, I borrowed something here, and, and God made a way. Yeah. And do you know, mm -hmm. less than three months later, yeah. The landlord who owned the building came and asked me to manage the building. Wow. Because the guy who was already managing, mm -hmm. they had threatened him. Somebody, somebody threatened him and he moved out of that building. So I lived mm -hmm. there rent free for a few years wow. and managed the money. I mean, managed the building. It was like, only God. 
See, we can't. That's why I'm not afraid of things today. Yeah. You know, because God made a way for me. Yes, indeed. You know, let me see something. I wanna. Um, yeah. We're gonna go to my mechanic. Okay. Let's see if he's here. He he won't be shy. But uh, uh, you know, this young man <laughs> went to school with my son, and then uh, he used to work on my on my uh, my my grandson's car. And yeah. then I met him, and he keeps my car's name is Mary Jane. Yeah. He keep Mary Jane going. You know what I'm saying? It's like the Rick James song. Yeah, he... <laughs> Mary Jane is always... Uh-oh. Hold on, people. Yes, dear. <laughs> this is the first time I got the phone. Don't yell at me. I'm, I'm taping right now. You know, what is it? <laughs> I'm in Stratford taping. I'm doing live where I go to. Why? What's up? <laughs> this is my daughter, y'all. So what is it? <laughs> what is it, Tanya? I'm bi I'm talking now. How many people are here where you are? Two. And I'm getting ready to make three. Why? <laughs> well, all right. I don't need you to be around a lot of people and make a combo jumbo. Why? Why? Why yeah. do you think the last one? Okay. Bye, Tanya. <laughs> Let me go see something. What? Bye. Don't be around a lot of people. I'm telling you that. I'm not going to be around a lot of people. Thank you, doctor. I got you. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> she's, she's always trying to tell me what to do. How you doing? Good. Is, um, Lewis is in there, right? The father. Oh, he's not in there? The father? No, Lewis. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Thank you. <coughs> um, being over with um, my mechanic, who is an awesome guy to me. Ooh. You know. Um, put on my seatbelt. <laughs> oh yeah, put on seatbelt. Um. Oh, they leaving. They leaving. Right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so he probably calmed her down. See, we came in to calm her down, and now, and and sometimes we have to play that part for people. You know, because, um, you got it? No, not yet. Because <laughs> she, uh, she was very angry. Okay, I got to put my hand sanitizer there on. Well, when you get out the car, put some <laughs> sanitizer on it. You got it? Yeah. But, um, she, um, she wanted to beat him, you know, she said he cast a check uh -huh. and, uh, her so, car isn't fixed. So I got that part, but what you gonna do? There's nothing you can do right now. There has to be a reason. He's kept my car longer than he said. But I, I, I breathe, and then he gave me my car. Some things are say? not in your timing. It's in God's timing. You know, she, her boyfriend has a car. But her thing is today, she got laid off from her work today. She can't get her car. Blah, blah, blah. blah. You know what I mean? So she got a lot of stuff going on. So I'm, you know, what I went for in her ear, that's his car, right? She said, yeah. I said, so, use his car. Maybe God wants you to let him take care of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why not? He got a car. You guys are together. Da -da, until your car gets fixed. Because she got body work plus mechanical work. <laughs> and um, what it is, she said the insurance paid him and he cashed the check. Okay, got you. Yeah. And you know, what you gonna do? Tell me, I was gonna, what she said that um, they were gonna send it, she will tow it to somewhere else. Where? <laughs> Where you gonna tow it? You gonna get rid? He's not gonna rip her off. He got her car, but he ain't gonna rip her off. I don't think so. Yeah. But you know, you know, and I, I understand. And like I said, calm down. It's all right. So I prayed with her. See, 
God gives us incentives to do things. Like, all of a sudden, God said, go to your mechanic, right? I go at the right time. I do the right thing. Yeah. She's fine. Yeah. She's fine. You know? Oh, yeah. I, you know, but she was going she was going out for blood. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? Yeah. Did you hear? All right, don't put me on the camera. Like, Lord, we ain't going to put her on camera. But it's okay. And <laughs> we were over there in Newfield Park. It was just the opposite. Yeah. You know, and it's like, um, right now, I live over, um, I used to live. Yeah. When I moved from over there on Stratford Avenue, yeah, I moved over here. Oh, okay. Okay. I lived. I lived. Okay. This house right here on the second floor. The white. Unit. I wonder what it is. Well, pretty nice house. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a family green that on that one, that one, that one. They own all these houses over here. Wow. You know, but um, yeah. But I lived here for like five years, yeah. and from here, my husband and I, we bought the house in New Haven. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, God has been good to me, even with this, the the mess that I have created for my life. You know. Yeah. My husband used to. He was a musician, and he played for many churches. Mm -hmm. And he used to play for this one. It was Reverend Williams. Pastor Williams or something like that. Yeah. But he has passed since then. But um, they they lived, I mean the church was used to come here. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like this is my new stopping ground after my drugs and you know, carry yeah. on, you know? Yeah. But but God has been awesome in my life. And whereas I am glad. I used to go to that gas station over there. Which every day? the one cut street. Every day. It was the best place. I go there to too. Yeah, you go, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that you know, but mm -hmm. life is good. I have no complaints yes, to that. You know, you, you you just you you reflect back on your life. And mm -hmm. I haven't to go a full circle hasn't yeah. been that bad. I've had some bumps in the road, as we all do. Mm -hmm. We all got stuff. Everybody got, everybody got a story about something that has happened. Good, bad, or indifferent. Yes. I don't know what this is. Two roads, what is that? Oh, that's a beer factory. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you know, it, it, it's, it's, I've had a good run, a good life. Even though, as I said, I've had some bumps, but everybody got bumps, you know? Yes, indeed. You know, so I'm just, I'm just grateful today. Oh, yeah. You know, and I'm, I'm just going to do what I know to do and not worry about it. And that's what we got to do, not worry about the stuff. That's going on now, because um, it gets better. Yeah, it will get better once you understand that God is able to bring you through and you can't worry about stuff that has nothing to, I can't worry about yeah. stuff if I do what I'm supposed to do I yeah. shouldn't worry because That's if you truth. worry you're not believing God you know yes it is and uh, I'm gonna believe God I'm gonna trust God Yes. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do my best to understand that God will provide all my needs. And not only my needs, mm -hmm. the needs of my children and yes. and you know, because when I pray, I pray for my children and my grandchildren. Yes indeed. You know, someone asked me the question the other day, do you think your mom prayed for you? Yes indeedy, I know she did. Yes. You know, before my mother passed, I took care of her. Yes. Those those are the honorable things that I'm grateful for. Yes, indeed. Because God changed my life that I could take care of. Yes. You know, and you know, and, and nobody can take care. My mother loves her children to a fault. I yes. mean, what I mean by that is, it's God, me, and then everybody else. 
My yes. mother put her children and everybody else before she put herself. Yes. Sir. So that's the fault of it that if you know if she had mm -hmm. loved herself a little bit more. Yes. You know, but mm -hmm. that's how that's all she know. But she put that in me too. Yes. But I know that God is first, yes, then sir. me, and then yes. the other, the, um, the other people in my life. Because yes, I have a good, I'm telling you, again and again, mm -hmm. I have a good life. I like with that young lady, she said, uh, they call me, she reports in telemarketing, mm -hmm. they uh, told her, but she's going to get unemployment. Yeah. Oh, her job let her go because of the virus thing? Yeah. They're not going to, it's telemarketing. So, oh. uh, what, what is it? Ten people, are, you can't be around more than ten people at a time? Uh, yeah, that's what they say. So, in a telemarketing business, it's about mortgages, so... Yeah. You know, there's at least 20 people in the room, so they're gonna, yeah. they're gonna cut out the ones yeah. that are their last, and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, whatever, you know, the, the yeah. totem pole has to be cut down. Yeah, yeah. So, she's on that pole, you know? And yeah. so, I understand. I kind of understand why she was going to, they're beating up on her, so what's she doing? She gonna beat up on somebody else. Somebody else. Oh. And that's how we do, we we get, we're hurt because somebody hurt us. Hurt people hurt people. That's true. You know, she got hurt, so what's she gonna do? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and yes. it, it just shows how it is. But we have mm -hmm. to learn to breathe Mm -hmm. And understand, we just can't hurt people. Breathe. Yeah. So. You know, breathe. <laughs> and understand that no matter what we're going through, mm -hmm. this will pass. Yes, indeed. Whatever you're going through, it's gonna pass. Yes, indeed. You know, it it may not even last long enough for you to go, what? What happened? But if it lasts more than you can, you know, handle, you gotta trust God with you. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm more, more than anything that you can ever do, you have to trust God. You have to. That's a must. Yeah. So you, you know, you just keep it moving. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I didn't work for two days. I'm like, wow. <laughs> but then I think back, I didn't work for six months. Shut up. <laughs> It's like, okay, I'll be all right, you know? Yeah. And it, and it is. You know, I think people think we're always worried about what we don't have. Yeah. And we don't appreciate what we do have. Yes, we do. You know, I appreciate. Mm -hmm. I worked four days this week. Four hours. Great. Yeah. Cause again, I'm going to get, I can work with a check. If I get a check, mm -hmm. I can work with that. Yeah. And you know, and the, the thing is, God gives you what you need. Yes, indeed. That other stuff, we just want, you know? Yeah. Somebody wants some Maserati. I can't even say it. Maserati? Uh, yeah, somebody want one of them. I don't. You know, I tell people, you know, I'm going to hit the Powerball, okay? That's my dream, okay? Don't, don't beat me up. But anyway, yeah. If by chance, or oh, when this happens that I have this finances, all I'm gonna do is fix this car. Yeah. I don't have a car note. Even if I had a whole bunch of money, I don't want a car note. Yeah. I've had a new car, you know? Yeah. You know, uh, when I had a, I had a 1981 something, I can't even remember what it is. Canary Yellow. Yeah. Every week somebody hit me. It was brand new, <laughs> right off the struggle. <laughs> Bang! Bent the front, bent the back. But nobody won't hit. Nobody don't hit this one. They did take my light, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I think my granddaughter scraped somebody. But you know what I'm saying? That, you know, I, I was like, what the oh, hell? <laughs> but so and it, so, I realized it's a call. Yeah. Because sometimes we value a lot of materialistic things, and yeah, we do. You know, it's not that serious. 
That's the truth. You know, it, it's really not that serious to value all the things that we do. Yeah. You know, you know who I haven't heard from today? Who? Sure, Michelle. Michelle. She was supposed to, I don't know, she was going to get her nails done. She's probably asleep. Nah, she was, she got a job. Go, Michelle. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I said, like, go, girl, you got, oh, my daughter did call me twice. Well, I never, I never, <laughs> three times, rather. That's why she yeah. was saying, uh, <laughs> I called you, because my phone must have been on something else. Right? Vibration. Probably. Yeah, but, yeah. but, um, <laughs> we just have to understand that if we're gonna trust God, mm -hmm. uh oh, she must be busy because they hung up. Go on, Michelle. She'll call me back later. Yeah. But uh, you think still at work. Yeah. But you know what time it is? We've been doing this about an hour and a half, you know. Yeah, I know. The video's gonna be too long. <laughs> I know, so we gotta end it, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go back the other way. But it's a nice day today. Yeah. The first day of spring, check it out. Yeah. You know, which is awesome. We met some good people and. Yes. And, yes. Yeah, and you know, it's a good day. I got a hamburger out to deal. Yeah. But, uh, um, it's called Because God. Yes. The, it only shows you what God can do and will do. That's true. If you allow Him. That's true. You know? And you can't be afraid of the stuff. No. You know, we worried about what coulda, woulda, shoulda. That's true. You know? I just want my children to be blessed by God, to uh, understand that God yeah. is the only one that they can trust and believe in. And if they could do that, and I could do that, and you yes. could do that. Yes. Our lives wouldn't be all jacked up like they are sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. You know, I, I'm so grateful today. I truly yes. am. You know? Hey, you know, the, you can ride the bus free today, too, anybody. Oh, why? Because, because they did, well, because of the virus, I heard on the news yeah. that you have to go in through the back of the bus, not the front. Oh, wow. So they wouldn't have the um, that trail going through. Yeah. You can ride the bus free. That wow. was yesterday. I don't know about today, but yep. <laughs> so just get on the bus and ride. But yeah. see, that's what, yeah. That's crazy. But why do you say that? Well, it just lets us know how serious this thing is. It's, separa it's the separation of people. I believe so. You know, it's separating. You know, no hugging. So we have no, you know. Come on, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you. Is he on? What is he doing? He on something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was, I don't know if we parking or not parking, but he, yeah. That used to be my uh, I used to go to all. Oh, they got a new name. Uh, to get my other car fixed. Yeah. But um, that's why I have to defend Lewis. Yeah. Because um. Uh, Listen, I, um, he, he would fix my car and I pay him later. But I pay him when I say I'm gonna pay him. You know? Yeah. I didn't tell him I'm gonna pay him tomorrow and pay him two days later. Yeah. You know, so he respect me for that and I respect him. Like, you say, you know, that's what I want. That's what I need. You know, so, but uh, life is mm -hmm. I thank you, David. I appreciate you. Hey, anytime. I appreciate you too, Rob. You know that. I love yeah. you too. Yeah, it's like, it makes yes, it indeed. so much better. Yeah, you gotta yeah. get your... It's... Who picking up your son? Um... It's, uh... Where's he at? Um, I'll tell you later. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's it. We'll talk about it later. He'll never want to tell what. But I just thought about it. He got to be picked up at 4 o'clock. No. If he does, no. not today. No. no. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, okay I'll just check it. I'll make sure you got to take care yeah, of it. Yeah, he's a um, yeah. I thank you all. I appreciate you for listening and uh, tuning in. Remember, Facebook, like and share. YouTube, like and share and subscribe um i didn't pray at the beginning but i will pray now 
our Father, which art in heaven, I would be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Glory! Thank you, God. Yes, indeed. Yes. Have a great day, everyone. See you next time.